Hello, welcome to another Practice Strokes. And so what I want to do today is a bird and teach you a couple of things about birds. I put my paint colors out. I have cobalt blue. These are all multi-surface paints. Worker white, burnt umber. This is Prussian blue, dark, dark blue. This is happy green, thicket, burnt, uh, um, excuse me, <laughs> pure orange, yellow ochre, and daffodil. So those are some colors. I'm using flat brushes. I've got, um, I think this is a six, is it a six, a 10, and a 12, and a two script liner. I have a pencil. I have floating medium in the middle. And this is my double loader. It actually has a lid. All right, so I can cover up my paints dampen this little sponge and it's good to go to stay damp for weeks all right but i use my paint up really fast so i don't go that long all right so i want to show you a couple bird techniques all right so the first thing is a lot of people just do a round circle and this is not great paper for this because this is a textured paper um, multimedia paper and it's kind of dry all right but i still think you can see and then what they try to do is they come up with the back and then say we have a tail up here of the bird. Go a little bit closer, okay. All right, now the key is so the head doesn't look like a ball stuck on. All right, so here is the body, all right. Now, the best thing to have happen is Say we have a beak here, the beak comes into the head and out. Best thing to have happen is that when you come around here is that you come out this way and it's a wing. The tail can go up, straight back or straight down. Now the, the face here, instead of going up under here, you want to make it curve so it's not like a ball sitting on top of this body all right now we're going to do another one just for fun that is going to be on this branch and it is going to be smooth and come up with the tail going up all right so it's it's gonna come just this way with the body all right and it's going to have some color here, some color on the chest, but then the beak will come right in here and out. All right, so I will have some longer tail there. And so I'm going to take and have some branch coming there and some branch coming here. All right, this one's a little bit bigger, but it's kind of like it's closer, so maybe that's why. Now, I don't usually draw, I'm drawing I mean, these in, I just paint them as I go, but I wanted it to be an easier transition for you. All right, I'm sorry about the shadows, I'm working hard to not have them, and I've got more than normal. Okay, so let's do this top one first. All right, now I can maybe make him a little bit bigger. But um, I'm going to pick up some white, and this is my 10. I'm going to come here and grab some yellow or maybe even some yellow ochre and go back and forth and make a nice, bright yellow. All right. Now, I want his tail here first. So that is a good reason to sketch it. So I'm going to come out here. And do see I'm doing separate strokes. And I want to put it down behind where that wing's gonna be. All right. And then I do, I'm just picking up some white and I am gonna have some light yellow in here with the white. All right. And we're doing this really loose strokes in here. All right, see the little white that's in there? And I can come in here and pick up. Now look, when I come over here to get color, I flatten that and I picked up some white. 
and see this pencil showing through. So you want to put a light pencil. I did it dark so y'all could see. All right. Now I also want to come in here and do a cheek, a tummy, and the tail. All right. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some white with blue. All right, so I'd go right here and split it. Come over here and work it in. Split it and work it in. All right, so what's going to happen here is we're going to come around here. Around here. And then I'll bring some blue along that way. And now we want the wing. Now, while I've got this not so full, I can come in here and come back here. Just add a little bit of blue in there. All right. So I came back and got more blue, flattened it out. So now I'm going to, I just picked up little bit of Prussian blue. I'm gonna go from the head straight back. So we want that darker blue there. And actually we could put a little bit of that dark blue to tip these tail feathers. Now I'm coming out here. These are the same strokes you're going to do for a lot of birds. When I do my carnations and all. And if you want to really learn more about birds, I have a whole bird stroke study. It's like three or four hours long. It's a library. You just keep collecting them. And when you want to do some more birds, you go look some more. And I really teach you a lot about the strokes of birds and how to make cardinals really nice. You see this? All right. So see, they start looking kind of fun. I can add a little bit more. Oops. I just screwed that up. I just messed that up. Excuse me. All right. I'm going to wash this because I did not want that blue right there. I wanted to take that off of here. And look, I just wet this brush. And I can get it right off there. I'm going to leave a little bit. I'll give you some shading. All right. Now, what I want to do is take the six and do a little bit of yellow ochre. And I'm going to come right in to the body. All right. Now, isn't, isn't that kind of fun? That teaches you a little bit about it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up two colors on my tan. Burnt Umber and Worker White. And some Medium. All right. So I'm going to come in across here. This, this um, paint can give you, with Floating Medium, a little bit of a watercolor effect. All right. So I'm just making it real jagged. And we'll come back and put a little bit of eye detail on there later. But I'm going to come along here and do the same thing over here with some medium so that it will move. I don't want water. All right. a little bit of branch. 
and we'll have that little bird up there. It's kind of looking up. This bird's looking down. All right. So this one, I don't know if you remember, I said I'm going to put white in his chest. I'm using that tin again. All right, white in his chest. And I'm going to come all the way up to that beak right there. All right. Then I'm going to pick up some bright yellow and do this whole head area here. Can you see that? All right. And then some orange. A little bit of orange. So that's just the base coating, right? Now I can put a little bit of brown in here. So orange, yellow ochre. And then I'm going to do the tail feathers. Okay, so one thing that helps those tail feathers. I don't know. Oh, the paper towel's in the light now. There we go. All right, so let's look at this guy. All right, so let's pick up a little bit of burn umber. See little strokes for the feathers. All right, so I'm going to wipe some of this brush off because it has too much white on it. All right, I'm going to come around here. And work in this orange. And this is working in because the paper is soaking up kind of like watercolor paper. So soaking up the water um, or let's say the medium. Okay, so we're gonna come, oops, I'm touching the white tummy. We're gonna come here. And we're gonna come around. Okay, so it's just got a little bit of earth tone in this bird. Don't ask me what kind of bird I'm making them up as I go. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come right in here, right under that white. You see how I'm just bringing a little bit of color in here? So we needed that little bit of yellow for this white to show. All right, there's the two birds. This one's in the back, so it should look a little bit smaller. Is this kind of fun, you think? All right, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the yellow and white and clean this up just a little bit. And this one, watch what happens. We got to take it into a V back into the top of the bird. All right. See, you just work that in. And we could take that into a triangle, I mean, a point too. That's a point. And this is a point. Okay. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush, little, little brush, and get this beacon here. This beak is, I'm doing yellow ochre again, but we can put a little bit of burnt umber into this beak. I'm going to wipe that off and just pull it in. All 
All right. So now that I've got that in there, I'm going to take some burnt umber and I'm going to do little teeny strokes. This is a one script liner. Okay, and have those talons grabbing is grabbing the branch. All right, and it's also going to come up here a little bit. All right, so I'm going to take a teeny bit of white. See, I picked up a teeny bit of white and when I push down and stroke that, same thing happens up here. Oh, I can't see. So look, I'm gonna touch these. One, two, three. Okay. And we're gonna take a little bit of this. Let's get some Prussian blue. And let's hit a little bit across here. A little bit in this area here. Okay, right here, I'm going to take that blue that way and I'm going to put two little spots or two big spots for the nostril. All right, so I'm going to come up a little bit. I'm going to take the deep blue and I'm going to put it right here. And this is Prussian blue. I'm going to put it right there too. All right. Now what I missed on this is it did take a little bit of yellow ochre on him. Okay, and what we'll do is just put a teeny bit of highlight here and here. Oops, I'm shaking. Sometimes I put a little highlight right here. And this is very wet, but we can put a little bit in the dot. Get a little bit in a dot. And here's a little stronger and a little dot. All right. Now, since that's wet, if I don't like how that turned out, I can take a little bit off. You see that? Because it's, it's the white paint, I can pull a little bit of it off. All right. So I'm going to show you right along here. I can come on right around here and take some blue. So just do the main bird shapes and practice that. But I want you to see you can come back in here and add brighter colors. Isn't that kind of fun? Same thing happens here. I can come right in here. And we can also go down on here. Straight. Okay, so what I want to do then is I want to pick up some citrus and sap, uh, thick and happy green. <laughs> Got this, uh, and a little bit of medium. Push really hard and stand up. Push really hard. 
really hard. You don't have to do this part. I just thought it'd be fun to show you that just this little practice can become something fun. Keep going over there and getting happy green and thicket. And go one and do a second stroke. Two strokes on here. Where, oops. Got to redo that. There you go. All right, so I hope you can see some fun strokes to make a bird. Little chisel strokes for the feather and the tail. Get the head and the cheek under there and you're ready to go, all right? Thank you, I wanna see some practicing going on, all right? I'm still, I'm not happy with this right here, so I'm gonna bring that burn number of my script liner right around. There we go, little beak in there. And we'll see you next week. In the meantime, practice, practice, practice. Mm -hmm.